gym is humbling. Gym is a very humbling experience for a slim individual like myself. I was one of them youths, innit? I was, I was a physical youth in school. I was one of the bigger youths. I stopped going when I was about 14, though. So all the men that I can outmuscle on the football pitch and wherever, it weren't that by the time I got to like year 11, boy. So obviously now manhood, I'm in my late 20s. I'm trying to get back my little fitness. It's a lot. There's a lot of things I used to be able to do that man can't do no more. Like go gym without a trim. You feel me? Like on a, on a hairline thing, you know? When man's doing certain exercises, like on a sweating thing, like the hairline's just, the lighting's brazy in there. You get me? So yeah, one, first of all, I need to, I need to make sure that my hairline is intact before I go in there. Um, secondly, just being able to be in there for longer than, I'm not gonna lie, since I've been back, I don't think I've been in there longer than 36 minutes. I, I, 45 was my target. It's a lot. I'm one of them, man, I try to go gym by myself and an older man thing in, in the AM with all the, the aunties, them. Not, obviously not to see them, it's a bonus that they're there, but it's, it's, it's hard. The aunties, them stronger than me. And some of them are like 60 something. You get me on, on the pension art scheme and them thing there, but they're, they're still strong. You understand? The flexibility thing, oh my God. See, I was one of them, man. I'm a, I, I grew up kicking ball, you get me? So man got tight, this one, hamstring, I think. Is that hamstring, quadricep, one of them. But I got tight hamstrings in it. I can't bend over and touch my toes in it. Obviously, I, I don't really think a, a man needs to be able to do that in many situations in it. We've got knees, you understand? Man can bend down, like, there's other angles. But obviously certain exercises in the gym, you have to have that hamstring, quadricep, whatever it is. You need to have that flexibility. It's not there no more, man. It's not there. Boy, there's a there's a... There's, there's something in the gym that I've, I've probably done twice this year, and it's called leg day, man. Them. Leg day, they say don't miss it, but fuck that. If, you, if I had shorts on right now, you see my ankle is, is wrist level. My ankle look like your wrist. I don't give a shit. Leg day, that's who invented that, man? Who, I don't, who invented the gym? Obviously, big up my man that invented the gym, but the, the, my man that invented the leg machines, I don't really know what you're on. Cause man can run, man can jog, all them, squatting and all them Russian kind of exercises. No, I, I don't have time for that, bro. I'm on a skinny leg thing for life. But as I said, I'm getting older, man. When I was younger, I just used to go in the gym and just do bullshit, you get me? Bench press, curler, dumbbell, squat, whatever, innit? But now, obviously, man, have to have the routines, man, have to wear the right equipment, you feel me? The glove, the, the tight, the everything, I'm wearing tight T-shirt and that. But as an older man, I try, I try to do classes. I tried to do one of the classes the other day. I used to work in the gym when I was younger, but when I say I used to work in the gym, I just used to like be in the gym and work out all day and they'll pay man for it. So I didn't really, I didn't really take in what was going on, you get me? So when I stepped out going to the gym, I was kind of like, I'm a dan, like speaking to all the, the, the fitness instructors, like, rah, like man used to be like you, like I know what stretching is and them thing there. Bro, I signed up to this class called spinning, bro, spinning. And I don't know, I just thought it was like some kind of Russian thing where we just spin around in a circle and we just, but no, it's not that. You go on this bike and it's an evil bike, bro. It's just the only way I can, ex I can explain that bike, fam. It's like, got weighted pedals. So you know when you try to do on the, on the bike and then you just stop, can't do that. The, the, the weight make your leg go round and round and round and round and break your knee and your ankle and all kind of madness. And the man's telling you, go up and go to the side and stand up and, and yo, your whole, that's, that's the reason I feel this way right now, spinning. And the worst thing is I'm seeing all the gallum in there. I'm just seeing bare aunties in there. So I'm saying, yeah, spinning can't be anything too difficult. It's about two men in there and they're about 75. So I try to go in there with my young self, position myself between two aunties. But uh, by the time the man told me to stand up again for the second one, I was done. But it's like, again, you can't even stop, it's like, it's all mad. The gym experience is humbling. All jokes aside though, I would recommend it to everyone. Cause I learned about something. My gym, it has shit like on the wall and shit and you can learn and them thing there. I learned about something called endorphins. And endorphins is just basically a scientific term for wavy shit, just wavy shit in your brain that goes all around your body, makes you feel good. And you get that when you exercise, you get me? So even though your leg them feel like jelly and your knees broken from spinning and your, your hands are all, I got all black marks on my hand from 
lifting up heavy weights and that, it releases endorphins, you get me? So when you're doing whatever you're doing and you're going out through the day, it's just releasing wavy shit throughout your life into the atmosphere and into your life. And who doesn't like wavy shit, bro? It's as simple as that. I gotta let you lot know something. This is on behalf of the Slim guys, and I know I'm chatting for us right now. Leave us alone in the gym. Cause you see when I'm in the gym and I'm doing my little, my little old man, you know, man, I got the neck slim fit thing. I'm looking like a cyclist. I'm doing my little thing. Just leave man alone. Certain young boy will come over with them chest puff out. Like, yeah, nah, OG, you're doing it wrong. Leave me alone to just break my back. Car, it's, it's already humbling in there. You understand? There's levels to this thing. I tried being there the other day. Old man's coming over to man. Like, rah, that's too light for you. Rude boy, you don't know my shoulder. Don't speak for my joint. So all the living, lippy living room watchers, if you're not, Sign up to the gym, what are you doing? That's, that's what I'm saying, you get me? From chicken arm, Lippy is about to lift some weight. You have to lift some weight as well, car. 2021, you have to show some chest and some shoulder. If you go back and look at Lippy's living room episodes from probably about a year ago now, I had a little bit of shoulder. I was wearing vest in certain episodes. I was on my little, you understand? Once you get your little gains and that, you feel good, you feel the endorphins, you feel the wavy shit. You could watch Lippy's living room with a better chest and yeah, everything would be all right. So make sure you sign up to the gym if you haven't already.